Let's unbox some fish. Yesterday. What's going on YouTube? John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing. Today I wanted to give you a little treat of uh, what I am doing. If you watched last week's video, uh, I took some fish out of quarantine and put them back in the main display. So I'm uh, going to be receiving some fish from LiveAquaria.com. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be breaking down this 55-gallon quarantine uh, with 100% water change and taking everything out and cleaning it as best as I can to set up a completely new quarantine with fresh water uh, to prepare for the delivery coming tomorrow. So essentially what I'm going to be doing here is draining all of the water out. I have actually a 44 gallon Rubbermaid container. I just drain everything into. Uh, I'm taking every single piece of the quarantine heater uh, filter uh, sponges and other things out of the tank and putting them in here so I can clean absolutely everything in this tank. Uh, I'm also going to be draining down the water. If you can see there's one fish left in this quarantine uh, which actually is a purple tang. I'm going to be moving the purple tang over uh, to the 75 gallon quarantine. So right now I'm just taking everything out that I can including the sponges in the hang on back filter, cleaning up this tank, getting all the algae out of it and just making it 100% pristine so then I can put uh, fresh salt water right into the new tank and start uh, temperature acclimating everything here. So essentially I'm cleaning everything up that I can and in order to get the last bit of water out I had to lift up the tank a little bit and tilt it so the water, last bit of water was in one of the corners. the next day okay uh, before we get started I want to show you what I use when I'm acclimating fish so you have your refractometer which 1.022 is exactly what the uh, quarantine tank is at right now I have a temperature gauge it's just a laser pointer just a laser pointer got it off Amazon works pretty well and you're gonna need a pH probe so I like to make sure I'm checking the pH of the new water that it's going into from the frag tank or I'm sorry from the quarantine tank. So I like to make sure that 
the new water from the quarantine tank. We can test the pH on it. This thing's pretty great. And stick it in the water. I would normally give it maybe about a minute. You'll see it continues to drop, 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 drop. So I'm going to say we're about 8.2. So as I open the box, you can see that I have, uh, it's got a heat pack in it still. So uh, taking the temperature of the heat pack, that is still over 80 degrees. Uh, I'm taking the temperature of each of the bags, uh, which actually wasn't too bad. It was only about 72 degrees. So I normally keep my tanks at 78. So it's only about six degrees for, so for being in the bag for probably many hours, um, actually pretty impressed with uh, the ability to keep temperature there and six degrees isn't a, a tremendous swing obviously we don't want to do that in a matter of minutes but uh, pretty easy to acclimate the fish back so first step is to float the bags in the quarantine tank for about 20 to 30 minutes to bring the temperature up on the bags itself so once I've done that then I will cut the bags apart and I pour all of the bags one by one into uh, the five gallon bucket here where I'm going to set up a drip, uh, drip acclimation. So testing the pH level of the fish coming out of the bag they're only at about 7.9 my new quarantine is at 8.2 pH level so I wanted to slowly drip acclimate them the salinity of the uh, fish coming out or being delivered from live aquaria was 1.019 and if you remember 1.022 is where I was at so it's only three one thousandths off uh, so really what I did is about 30 to 45 minutes I did a slow drip acclimation uh, I can show you in a future video if you really want to see how to do that but in about 30 to 45 minutes uh, they were good to go to put directly into the tank And here is the update of the fish I got from LiveAquaria.com. We got your leopard wrasse, your cleaner wrasse, your two-spot blenny, tail-spot blenny, and your orange shoulder tang. So we're going to put some spirulina in here. And watch these guys eat. Probably a lot of food, but just want to see you guys go to town. Where's everybody?